Hey everyone, welcome to the Decorative Den, a look inside my craft room where I share all things crafting, planning, and DIY. My name is Charity and I am so happy to have you here with me. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my spring setup in my mini happy planner. I really love how this setup turned out and I tried a few things that are a little different for me so I'm really excited to share it with you. If you are interested in seeing what all I have going on in here then just keep watching. All right, guys, so a quick disclaimer before we actually get into this planner setup. So I call this my mini happy planner, but actually nothing in here is happy planner brand anymore. I just call it that because all of my inserts are roughly sized the same as a mini happy planner. So about four and a half by seven inches. So I guess just keep that in mind in case you are looking for a flip through of a Happy Planner product. This is not that video. Instead, I'm just sharing how I got this all set up and decorated for spring. But anyway, let's go over the outside of this planner first. I am still using this gorgeous faux leather cover from Paperbound Creations on Etsy, and it has this really just beautiful glitter spine with the scalloped edge. I love this so much. And I got this in the fall, and so I've really been enjoying getting to set up this planner for the various seasons and using this planner cover as kind of my color palette inspiration. So it's been really fun as I've gone from Halloween and fall to winter to now spring to try to create a setup that really works with this planner cover. And I think I achieved that, so I'm really excited to share it with you. But the other thing you can see kind of from the outside of my planner is this planner clip. Super cute. So that is from the shop Two Weeks on Mars. And I'll try to give you a better view of that clip as we go through the setup. But in general, I love Two Weeks on Mars. They have wonderful planner clips and charms. So I will make sure to link that shop as well as all the other shops I mentioned today in the description below. But anyway, let's open this up and I'll start showing you what I have in here. All right, so I zoomed you in a little bit and this is what it looks like when I open the planner. As always, I'm gonna start over here on the pocket side and for this setup, I tried to keep things a little more functional. Um, I've been really loving a lot of functional and minimal planner setups that I've been seeing on Instagram. And certainly that's like not my style completely, but I've been really admiring that style more and more. And so I did try to keep things slightly more minimal in this setup and also took some inspiration from all of the awesome functional planners I've been following on Instagram. So all that to say, I put a little less in this pocket area than I usually do. But in this front pocket, I have layered a few different items. The first is what I'm calling a faux bookmark. I mean, you certainly could use this as a bookmark, but essentially all it is is a piece of vellum. And so it is very thin um, and really, I'm never gonna use it as a bookmark. I just wanted it for decoration but it is just this gorgeous floral vellum that I cut down and rounded the corners on. And then I just punched a hole at the top and added a little piece of peach thread to it. And so I have that layered in the back here for a little bit of height. And also just how pretty is that vellum on top of this faux leather cover? I love it so much. The next thing I have is a little sampler, and this is from the shop Together with KX. I got this with a washi order I placed, and I thought it was just so cute with the neutral florals, and it looks really nice in this planner and with this setup. So I have that layered in here. And then the final thing I have is this cute little flower clip that I actually made. And so I think, again, that's a nice neutral color, and I really liked how it worked with this setup. So I have that clipped on to my front pocket there. 
And then the only other thing I have up in this front pocket area is this evening routine card. And for this, I used some clip art that you will see kind of like as a reoccurring theme throughout this setup. Um, so sometimes when I'm doing a setup, I'll buy a bunch of like 12 by 12 papers from Michaels or scrapbook.com and use that to kind of theme my setup. But for this setup instead, I found this really cute clip art. It was called, I think it was called Boho Easter. I'll make sure to link it below. Um, but I love the colors in it. Lots of these beautiful rust tones and burnt yellows and just it was just so perfect for this planner. And so that is the main thing I used in this setup, including on this little card. And I just made this pretty much because the past couple of weeks, I've found that my after work routine has been a complete disaster. And so I'm hoping having a card that I can very easily access will just kind of help me keep help keep me on track in the evenings to make sure I get done everything that I want to before going to bed at night. So that is everything that I keep over on the pocket side. Moving over to my actual planner, I am using one inch rose gold aluminum discs from Levenger. I feel like I say this in every one of my planner setups, but I absolutely love Levenger's aluminum discs and would highly recommend them to anybody who's into disc bound planning. And then I am also still using this beautiful frosted cover with the scalloped edge. And this is from the shop Makers Avenue, also on Etsy. And I just have that layered on top of my like inside cover, <laughs> which is a few different elements. So first I have this super cute little April calendar. This is one of my freebies I have available through my Instagram right now. So definitely head over to Instagram and check that out. I have a calendar for all three months within this quarter. And I have that just clipped to my front cover here to kind of just be a quick reference. I love that I can see it through my frosted cover. And so it's a really nice thing to just reference throughout the day as needed. And that is definitely one of the things I took from all of those functional setups I've been admiring. But I have that clipped to a digital paper that came with the clip art set I got. And this is probably one of my favorite of the digital papers that was offered. I love this blush pink color and that it just has the nice spring imagery with some flowers and butterflies and birds. But that is the inside cover and I just left the back of that one blank because I wanted all of the attention to be on this page, which is my table of contents. So normally in my planner setups, I'll do a like mood board right in the beginning using stock photos from uh, sites like Pexels and Unsplash. But for this setup, I decided to mix it up. And instead of doing a mood board, I went with a little table of contents dashboard for the start. And so again, I have more of that beautiful floral vellum from Michaels and my contents page is this beautiful rust color. Oh, I love this so much. I have just been obsessed with orange tones lately. And so it has some of the floral clip art in the corner. And then I just have the labels of all five sections in my planner. And these are in the same order and match my tabs over here on the side. So that is my table of contents. And then on the back of that, I have another dashboard with that beautiful clip art. This has more of the wildflowers and a couple little cute carrots sticking out. And so I just created this border and then in the center put the quote, you belong among the wildflowers, which is part of a Tom Petty song that I think is just called wildflowers. Um, but I thought that was pretty fitting for this dashboard. And then that kind of ties into this next sheet of vellum that I have. And this is something that I've done throughout the entire setup. So each time I start a new section, I have a piece of vellum that I printed out some more of that clip art on. So that way each one has this really cute bottom border that kind of ties the entire setup together. And so this one is just a continuation with those same flowers and little carrots. 
and this starts my inbox section. And so for this planner, instead of doing decorative top tabs like I usually do, I decided to do side tabs that were labeled and functional. So we'll see how I like this system. So far, I really like it. But to make these tabs, all I used were the um, removable, here, I'll remove this one, the removable or like readjustable post-it tabs. And so these were just the plain white ones. And all I did was I cut out some little sticker labels with my various section titles. Hold on, there we go. So I cut out some labels with my various section titles and added those to the little tabs. And I like that these are removable just because if I decide, you know, a few weeks in that I really hate the side tab system and I want to go back to my decorative top tabs, this makes it really easy to just change those out. But like I said, this is my inbox section right here in the beginning and just like with most inbox sections, this essentially is a master to-do list insert for me. And so I will write down all my to-dos. And then in these columns, I can switch up what I want them to represent, but I mostly do um, important. So I can mark this column if the task is important. Then I'll do um, started the task and ended the task. So that way I can kind of keep track of my progress. So this has been a new insert for me in 2021 and one that has been super functional. I've been really loving this. But that is all in my inbox section. Moving on to my next dashboard, I have a beautiful piece of vellum from the shop Pen, Paper, and Plans on Etsy. And it is this gorgeous marble pattern in taupe. And here, I'll put it on this side so you can see it a little better. But how beautiful is that vellum? I just love it so much. And I think it looks so nice layered over this pink dashboard that I have here. Again, more of that same clip art. But how cute are these bunnies with the like very mid-century modern boho vibes? They are so cute. And so I just put the little bunnies on one page and added a few more of those little flower images. And then on the back side of that, I did do a washi dashboard. Always gotta have a washi dashboard. And so this one has um, three different tapes that are all from the shop together with KX. So those are the um, three solid washies with the white floral pattern. And then this rose gold foil tape is from Michaels and I believe it's recollection brand. And so I just mixed that in for just a little bit of shimmer and shine. And I thought that these tapes went really well with this setup and I liked that the colors kind of fit with this vellum over here. So continuing our bunny theme, I printed a few little bunny images on this piece of vellum, which is layered over my next section, which is my reference section. And so if you've seen any of my older setups, I used to have a section in my A5 planner called lists and logs. And that section was always a hot mess. And so I am trying to kind of revamp that section. And that is what this reference section is. So this is meant to be a place where I can store lists, trackers, anything I want to look back and reference. And so it is not a finished section by any means, but more of a work in progress and something that I'll kind of build as I go and it'll kind of fit my needs as I go. And so I have another one of my side tabs here. And then I'll just give you some examples of what all is in this section. But the first thing I keep in here is my year at a glance for 2021. This is another freebie if you are still looking for a 2021 calendar. I also keep my Tombow swatches as just a reference for when I need to do any highlighting or want to add some, whoop, want to add some Tombow colors to my spreads. I also keep my order tracker insert in here, which I have this covered up just to hide some of my, um, you know, personal budgeting information. But this is what it looks like 
a blank version of it at least. Um, and so keep track of my orders in here. And that's all I have in here so far. I definitely want to do like, I think like a washi reference page would be really nice. Um, I'm gonna create a home stuff list of just like home things I want to improve and buy. And so it's really gonna be something that over time I build and will be able to refer back to as I go. So very excited about that section. And then that brings me to the next set of dashboards. And these start with this wonderful acetate from Harriet Wright Designs. If you've watched any of my other setups, you've definitely seen this before. I love this bow acetate and this one is in rose gold. I include it in so many of my setups. And I just have that layered over this dashboard, more clip art, but how cute is this basket? I love this so much. This was one of the images that I pretty much bought the clip art set for. I just loved it so much. So it's this adorable little basket with some wildflowers. And then I added some butterflies up at the top here. And then continuing on with the wildflower theme, on the back here I have this image from either Unsplash or Pexels, but because I didn't do a mood board with stock images, I still wanted to add some kind of photo to this, and so I found this beautiful close-up of these orange flowers, and like I said, I am totally feeling orange and rust tones right now, and so I love that so much. And then over here, I have another piece of vellum with some more wildflowers on it. And that is layered over my monthly section. And my monthly section, I'm using the same insert as I have been using. It is super functional for me. And it is this one, which is just um, like a dashboard style monthly, essentially. I made this one for myself and it has been just really functional. Um, Obviously it is <laughs> already like a week and a half into April and I haven't done this yet. Um, so hopefully after I'm done filming, I will fill this out. I have been so behind on planning lately, but when I use these inserts, they're very functional. Um, and this is the only top tab I have. Again, it is another one of those removable or readjustable post-it tabs. And I just have that here because my monthly section or monthly calendar is definitely the thing I use this planner the most for, or at least on a weekly basis, I always check my monthly and then transfer those plans over into my dailies. And so that is a tab that I think will come in handy as I actually get this set up. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my monthly section. Moving on to my weekly section. I have another piece of that marble vellum. This time it is pink marble. And again, this is from the shop Pen, Paper, and Plans. Again, I'll put it over here on this side so you can see it a little better. Oh, but how pretty is that? And it looks so good with these butterflies. Super cute. But yeah, here are, these are the same butterflies that I had on top of the basket, just in a larger view so you can really see the details. They are, again, just like the bunnies, so pretty. I love the patterns in them, just really beautiful clip art. And then on the back of that, I have another one of the digital papers that came in the set, and it is this so sweet little rainbow pattern. And then the little rainbows carry over to this vellum where I have this little bird, so cute. And that is sitting over my weekly section. And my weekly insert is not actually an insert I use every week, especially lately. Here we go, this is what it looks like. Um, it is supposed to be kind of like a print pression weeks style insert and so um let me go back a few <laughs> a few months pretty much so if i use it it often looks like this where i do like some decorating with washi on the side and do kind of like a high level overview of my plans i have had just like no time to do a lot of planning lately and so really I've mainly been focusing on my dailies in my micro and so um, 
Some weeks I will do something more like this in here. Other weeks I will do something like this where it's just like, oh, I just need a massive to-do list for the day. And so I'll do like personal to-dos and like content or planning to-dos. Um, but I like that in general, this insert has been very flexible in that way. And so just because it's it's pretty basic, I've been able to use it however I need, which has been great and definitely um, motivated me to keep this as a section in this planner. But that is it for the weekly section. So moving on to my fifth and final section, this is my notes section. And again, I have another piece of vellum. I went very vellum heavy in this setup, but this one is this cute little polka dot pattern. And I got this at either Michael's or Joann's. I'm not sure which one, but I thought that layered really nicely with more of that digital paper. This is the same paper I have on the inside cover of my planner. I just love this one so much. And again, like I said, I love it paired with this vellum. So I used it again. And then on the back side of this one, I have this little desk scene. This was a freebie from Papershire in the Papershire Facebook group. Definitely check out that Facebook group if you are not already a member. Zenny has so many just beautiful freebies. She is so generous. And so I loved this little desk scene. And so I put that on a pink background. And then to fill up some space, I wrote dream big underneath and I did that mainly because I really want this note section moving forward to be like an ideas section or a journaling section, um, not just a place to jot down to-do lists and things because I have my inbox and other sections for those types of things. And so I really want this to be more of like my dream catcher in a sense, like where I write down hopes, dreams, and ideas and things. Um, and so I thought that was appropriate to start off this section. And then for this one, I have a really simple border here at the bottom, just more of those little rainbows. And so the main insert in here, let me go to a blank one, is just this graph paper. Again, I made this for myself and this is another freebie available currently on my Instagram. Um, but I like keeping just a really basic insert back here because it allows me to really do whatever I want with it. Like for example, right here in the front, I have some quotes that I found really inspiring or meant a lot to me. And so I have a little quote section and I just really like that you can do a lot with just basic grid paper. And so that's what I keep in the back here. And then that's really it in terms of like inserts and dashboards and things. The last thing I'll show you here is a better close up of my little clip. So as you can see, it has this so sweet little bunny and then really cute variety of pink and white beads. And again, that is from the shop Two Weeks on Mars. And so I just clip that to the back here so it dangles out of the bottom and I can kind of see it throughout my entire setup. But yeah, guys, that is it for this planner setup. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I had fun getting to put this together and trying out some things that are a little different for me. We'll see if they work and if I stick with them. Um, I'll definitely give you an update, at least in my next planner setup video. But if you did like this video, please hit the like button for me so I know. And also, I would love to hear what you are doing in your planner for spring. Are you doing something with lots of traditional spring imagery and spring florals, kind of like I'm doing here? Or are you, you know, mixing it up and doing something totally different and maybe not season related? I would love to hear what your planner is looking like right now. And of course, guys, consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for being here with me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!